Hello, welcome back to Ball and Feed, and today we're going to be updating you on how to hold your dance partner in the American Smooth Dances, which this one specifically will be for your waltz, your foxtrot, and your Viennese waltz. If you're interested in tango, you could also start with this position, and then if you feel good, you can go ahead and head to our tango dance position, which is a little bit different than this one, and we'll link that down below for you, okay? So our incredibly brief version of this, where the swing dances, waltz, foxtrot, and Viennese waltz, we hold with a bigger frame than we do a tango, right? So the most important part is that we can set ourselves up first before we connect to each other. It's like we are both a puzzle piece, and you're trying to make your puzzle piece as strong as possible so that we fit together well. Instead of being kind of broken, we won't be able to fit together very well, right? So in a really simple sense, we're both gonna try to create a really strong vertical posture where we have our feet together, we have this proud chest here, so we kind of pick up the middle of our spine here. And then we keep our neck long in the back here. Yes, exactly. Instead of feeling like we are like this, we're doing the exact opposite by trying to put some air in our chest a little bit and stand nice and tall, which breaks us out of our everyday lives, which is kind of nice, right? So that's our first line. It's a vertical line here. The next line is going to be horizontal. So you can see from the back with Lynn's here that she's going to pick her arms up to the side. And the idea here is that her arms are at least parallel to the floor for we're looking for the most formal version of this frame and be more engaged, right? Where if her elbows drop below, it just becomes more casual. So it's not that we can't ever use this kind of frame, but it's much more casual again for like social dancing where if we're trying to turn on and try to be as, as good as we can in this dance position, she's gonna lift her elbows up at least this high, if not even slightly above the shoulders. And I'm gonna do the same thing again here so you can see much more formal and engaged and takes more energy in our dance position, right? So we have this vertical line already and now she's setting up this horizontal line across. Excellent, and then we can start to actually connect to one another a little bit here. So you can see my left hand her, to her right hand here. Our fingers are all together, we don't interlock them. My fingers are gonna point outside as hers point up and then it's gonna fold over here. One small note for this dance position in the smooth dances is Lindsay's gonna close her thumb to her hand instead of wrap it around the back of my thumb and leave it space. So she just closes all the way here. So we're holding her arm up on this side. She's gonna open up her left side and I'm gonna place my hand right on the bottom of her shoulder blade. I'm trying to scoop up her shoulder blade with my left hand. The next most important thing is that my wrist actually goes just under her arm. It's more important that I have contact right in the top of my wrist with her underarm, and then I also have a little bit of a scoop with the shoulder blade of my hand. It's not good enough that just my hand is on her back, so if we take a dance position here, and there's space underneath, because you can see she'll drop her arm. Let's say she picks up her frame and does a really good job here, and I just kind of scoop underneath. I'm not really high enough for her to put her hand on me, and I don't want to be too handsy with the dance position. I want to be more about my frame and myself. So I pick myself up a little bit so my wrist is against her underarm. And you can see this last piece here, she just put her hand right in the front of my shoulder so that her thumb and her pointer finger are just around the front delt in my shoulder here. The next thing for her is that she's gonna press her wrist down into my hand so she props up her elbow to maintain that horizontal line across, which is a very different and active feeling. And this would be the most basic way we can set up in a formal fashion with a little bit more energy and there are more layers to this. We'll go into our pro videos and whatnot. We start to add shaping and different things to this dance position to make it a little bit more advanced and interesting as we go along. Okay, so once we have those three points of connection, it's important to talk about left alignment, which we have many times and we will continue to do so. <laughs> so instead of dancing on two tracks right in front of one another, it's the leader's responsibility, but it's the follower's responsibility to maintain it throughout dancing, okay? So now you can see that we have four separate tracks. I'm off to his right side, but from your perspective followers, it'll be off to the left. So now we have these two windows here and here. So once we're in our nice lifted position, we're going to look up and off to the left over his shoulder, and then he's going to look through as well because he needs to direct us since a lot of the time, followers, we're moving backwards a lot. So we need to maintain this position to help maintain our left alignment, and he needs to look through his window so we don't crash into anything. And that is basically all of our basics for this position. All right, so hopefully that gave you an idea of how to set up in the smooth style, specifically for the swing style dances, waltz, foxtrot, and the Viennese waltz. Again, check out our tango video, specifically for tango dances, and check out all of the dances we have up on our website. Right now, we currently have our smooth section, which has 
Waltz Tango, we will build it further. We're gonna work on Foxtrot very soon and eventually the Viennese Waltz. So go check that out and like this video, comment down below what you wanna see next and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Thank you.